Mm-hmm. How about Jared? Do you, do you take notes? You seem the most horrified out of everyone. I mean, I watched the last half hour recently, but that's all I could really recap. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, uh, no, no, you are. <laughs> oh, uh, Hawkman um, met a weird creature that just popped what? out of some uh, water portal. Ah, uh, yes. And now we're mem- friends. <laughs> yeah. Now we're tight. Yep. <laughs> yeah. She splooshed me. Oh my gosh. Um, and then y'all met the water sprite. Yes. Yes, what? it was a great time. The what? Uh, the Karina, Nyad. Nyad. The Nyad. No, no, I want to hear what he said. I, I, didn't, I couldn't think of the name. I keep forgetting Nyad. You called it a sprite. Yep. It's a water sprite. <laughs> it's... It's lime and lemon flavored. <laughs> Rather than water, like Pepsi, you know? God, this beer is so good, I'm gonna chug it. <laughs> um, and then... Uh, Ironside tried to follow y'all, but then realized he was far too drunk. Because he did not make enough constitution saving throws. And... <laughs> Um, He's asleep in a changing room. Yes. Then me and Bricks played uh, Secret Spy. And that, that, like that doesn't sound like what you think it sounds and like. We played. Yeah, we played. <laughs> I, we played hide the pickle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We played Secret Spy, and much like most spy movies, uh, we did very poorly. <laughs> well. <laughs> You <laughs> did very poorly by stealing an entire sack of family jewels. He's the head of his treasure and... hoard. We're both very greedy people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I think you may have pushed Huffman a little bit too much in that uh, in that shadow. Which is the reason why you failed? I mean, it was a great distraction. It was a great distraction until the bar stool hit your foot. No, no, no! (laughs) He jumped off the bar stool. The bar stool fell over, and he smashed his face on the corner of the counter. And then tried to. (laughs) And somehow. Yeah, pretended he was drunk, somehow didn't take any damage from hitting his face like that, Mm-mm. and then got told some shit from Morgana out here. Dragon skills, ran... OP. Yeah. He's dragon scales. And then ran in here, knocked you out, and met a big-ass dog. He didn't knock met. him out, just, like, knocked him over. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> uh, I think her name is... Azir, Azirsa? Yeah. And then we heard Azirsa talk to the dog. And oh, you heard dog... uh, Green Song. Azirsa is the Green athletic song. one in the garden. That's right, Green Song. And then Morty is her dog. We can't even confirm that she's athletic because bitch couldn't even do a workout. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's still feeling high and mighty off their good rolls. Two uh, sessions ago? Bruh, bruh. I didn't even do anything <laughs> last session. I got splooshed on and I came back. And I talked to a guy out in the hallway. Like that was that was the whole deal. And hey, that's nobody's fault, alright. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Dang baby and we... had diarrhea, man. <laughs> oh yeah. you're just not built like us, you know? Like you're just <laughs> yeah, not stealthy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> alright. And we continue. So I guess we'll leave off where we started with um, Bricks uh, barreling in. And because uh, Marcel has a really fucking good pass without a trace uh, abjuration, even though he fucking fell over, 
the hound would, does not pick it up. Would any of us have seen Homegirl riding on Homeboy's face? No, because, uh, so... We it was behind a couch, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep, oh. right here. But we did see Brex, like, hop over the bar and, like, run through the door, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's out of character for Brex. Yeah. That guy <laughs> tries to carry himself like he's the man. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, Bricks, uh, as you were frozen in fear, um, you couldn't help but uh, obey um, Morgana's or uh, yeah, Morgana's command to tell you uh, or to tell tell her what you like, you know, about your party and and what and basically all the recent events that have been unfolding around you, mm -hmm. and. Um, it seems like eons to you, but it's probably only a couple of moments um, before you kind of like, before you kind of like whoosh back to reality and there's a dog barking in your face and, and uh, uh, an elf with a veil over her eyes turns around and, and says, Goodness, Morty, who is there? Okay, but I'm still very much like, I know that I'm under Morgana's spell, right? Uh, I... Yeah, I guess a charmed. Would a charmed person know that the that they're under a spell? Maybe after the charm, but I'm not sure. It depends um, on the spell. From my understanding, I want to say it's um, both parties, enemy and uh, ally, are all considered friendly targets. Let's see, <clears throat> I must make it with the same thing or do so. With advantage, if so, your companions are. Um, if it fails, it is charmed, which means a charmed creature cannot attack the charmer and the tar or target the charmer with harmful abilities and magical effects. The charmer has advantage on any ability checks to interact socially with the creature. Um, by the end of the spell, or until you or your companions do anything harmful, the charm person regards you as a friendly acquaintance. When you when the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. Okay, so I would assume I don't know that I'm charmed, but but you would know afterwards when the duration ended. Yeah. So I so I became charmed, and then but she says that to act normal, but to tell her everything, right? Tell her what's happening, like why you're doing okay. what you're doing, sneaking, I thought. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so she's a, through via telepathic link that she's established with her spell. Um, you know, she's basically making you spill your guts. Okay. Okay, so then she says that and the dog's sitting there in front of me and I've come back to my senses and I will just glance over at Marcel, like super wide eyed. And uh, just be like, how, how did I get in here? And I'll look towards the, the dog and I'll look towards the, the lady in the back. I, this is the, the kitchen. This isn't the bathroom. This isn't where I parked my car. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the uh, elf that you see appears to, you know, kind of like, uh, vaguely feel around her surroundings to kind of step forward and she says oh dear so you've gotten lost yes this is the kitchens my dear you'll have to you'll have to head back out the way you came I'm afraid oh I see and the dog is still like is still like you know growling at you I see that I'll step uh, I'll take a step back to like put my back up against uh, this stove it looks like yeah, it's a stove. <clears throat> um, so I'll like try to put my back up against the stove. Uh, and uh, does Bricks realize that the elf is probably blind? I think you could. That would be a safe assumption, considering that you know that it's a white veil over her eyes. She wouldn't be able to see very well through it. And she stumbled, like she felt around to move towards us a little bit, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so I'd be able to deduce that she's most likely blind. Um, yes. Okay. I got lost. 
using <laughs> either of these paths. <laughs> Look, man, all right, I gotta talk it my way out of this somehow. <laughs> I gotta talk my way out of this somehow, all right? <laughs> um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. You have a, a lovely dog here. Mor Morty, was it? Yes, Morty, my greatest of companions. I see, it's, <laughs> a, it's a very, very noble breed, I can tell. This dog's like still growling at you, and it's got like that little dribble of slobber from its snout still coming out. <laughs> He's not gonna hurt me, is he? He he looks a little agitated. Oh, Morty's just not very comfortable around strangers. You see, that's all. Yes, he uh, you know, he helps me get around the place. Oh, I, I see, I see. Um, might you be one of the the three sisters that runs this establishment? I am. Oh, it's it's so nice to meet you. I, I've met your other two sisters. They're very lovely. She kind of narrows her eyes a little, little bit. Um, huh, man, what are you doing? I'm going to see why he just ran through here. Oh, so you you <laughs> recovered from your uh, your fall? <laughs> yeah, I was helping you up. Yeah. You were on caltrops. Okay, I guess while Briggs is having I was on caltrops. Ball bearings. Yeah. Ball bearings. ball bearings, sorry. Yeah, ball bearings. Yeah. Alright, so I guess uh, while you're having the, you know, while you're having that, that brief discussion with Green Song, um, yeah, uh, Huckman gets up, starts, uh, you know, being I, like, what the fuckery is this? And uh, Ripple, I as know, you see. I know about these ball bearings. I've seen <laughs> that trap before. <laughs> <laughs> very recently, in fact. Man's coming to get justice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Ripple, as you see this going on, um, you you see Morgana get up from her seat with a you know a, a self satisfying smirk on her face and and telling her attendants that uh, she'll be in her private residence for the rest of the day, and she. Uh, she swiftly leaves the room. Which door does she leave out of? Uh, she went out of these double doors here. Okay. I'm just gonna stay where I am because, like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> 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 I am a confused little, like, baby so far, so. All right, but, I will, all right. but I will go closer to the bar because the attendants are going there, so I'll just, like, stay over here. Okay. When, when I went over the bar, I, I sat on it and spun, and then you know put my feet down on the other side. You gross naked man. Still, right? I'm. Wait, am I naked right now? No, you no? got dressed when it, you didn't go into the water in the springs. Uh, okay, oh yeah, okay. we just we just straight up went in there. Yeah, I didn't get yeah. naked for that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, Huckman, you you barge <laughs> just into the kitchen. Thinking, like. <laughs> yeah. You know, like the <laughs> bare skin on tile. You know, <laughs> like the squeak. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen though. So, all right. So as you come into the kitchen, you see the uh, you see the dog turn to you now and, and it starts barking all over again. And uh, Green Song, you know, is trying to or the elf. You see, is, is trying to pacify the animal. Oh, whoa, this doggy is mad. I start hearing a dog, don't I? Yep. Uh, I'm going to try to get over there uh, politely and be like uh, to the attendants, can I can I get past and see what's, what my friend is doing? And they just kind of like, you know, let you squeeze by just a wee bit. Thank you. Do I see the dog from here? Uh, No, but you can definitely deduce from like the sound that is most definitely a dog because this kitchen is crowded now Where's and the uh, and <laughs> now that the elf has seen that you know the the kitchen starting to become crowded she asks you know oh I'm, I'm so sorry but this area we don't normally like guests in this area so if you could please return to the lounge I'd really appreciate it now I gotta get this little, little guy out of here that came right in here see what's going on oh yes please do I stay or should I go back? <laughs> if, if we're going, then I'm going to like start heading back and like and stuff like that. But oh, well, right. uh, 
I guess uh, my 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 party members have, have come to get me. They seem to have noticed that I went in the wrong direction. Yeah. Real weird to get lost coming over here. Yeah, it's just... I get so turned around, this place is so majestic and, and big and beautiful. It is mm. pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so the elf gives a, a small nod and says, Yes, well, I'm glad it worked out. Take care. By I chance, have out. you seen a dwarf uh, around here? Yes. Blind woman, if she's seen a dwarf. <laughs> I know what I said, okay? <laughs> and she, so she cocks her head at you like, did you really just ask a blind person if they've seen somebody? <laughs> but of course, you can't see that expression, right? Because, like, you know, her half of her face is covered in a veil, and she says, I'm afraid I, I'm hard of seeing. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so, so sorry. I, I, uh, I had no idea. I just, I apologize. Yes, well, if if you wouldn't mind leaving, I, I have some things to prepare here. Very well. Well, I uh, I look forward to enjoying your tasty meals in the future. Of course. Have a good day now. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing talking to her about seeing stuff? What's wrong with you? All I right, just so Marcel to confirm my suspicions. <laughs> Marcel, as you, you see the party leaving, go. What do you do? You see, I... so uh, <laughs> are you gonna stay? Or are you gonna or are you gonna go with them? Okay, I'm going to start making my way. Make him up. Uh... <laughs> gonna make his way down. <laughs> All right. So, you, so after, as you're leaving, and you you can, you, you know you turn your head to cast uh, to uh, cast one more look, just you know, just to kind of double check, like you know that that big ass dog isn't gonna come after you, or you know that you haven't been seen. Um, you see that uh, you know that Green Song is looks to be preparing a dish, and uh, she's added. Um, a small vial of what you think would, you know, it, it looks like something vile, like sludge or, or like, you know, maybe poison vile. or vile. Vial. Yeah, vile, vile. <laughs> a vile, vile. Yep. Yeah, yeah, actually. Doesn't belong in a dish. <laughs> yeah. And she adds a, uh, she, um, you see her reach into uh, her sleeve, and and she pulls out a um, a roach, and she crushes it in her hands and sprinkles uh, it and mixes it into the dish uh, as you ouch. leave. So, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. My headset completely cut out. Oh my oh. god, Jared! <laughs> All I heard was that she crushed up a roach and then sprinkled it into it. That's she, really <laughs> what you needed to hear. Yeah, she took out a yeah, vile vial, poured it in the food, and then crushed a roach and put it in the food. That's basically it. <laughs> what kind of roach are we talking about? Oh my Not god. Like the, like the nasty big fat one. A water bug. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to take notice of that. And then I'm just going to continue slipping on by. Alright. Alright, main party members. Where to next? Uh, right main here. Party um, hey, Bricks, what the fuck? Well, you're separated. <laughs> with with the, uh, the marbles all over the ground in here that I slipped on? Oh. That was you? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, a slip of the hand, really. What? We slipped a hundred times? <laughs> you, you made Ackman fall. The, the the bag that I keep the ball bearings in it is a fairly small bag, and you know there's a lot of them in there. So if the bag were to accidentally fumble out of my hands or something like that, quite a few of them would fall on the floor. You don't look like the bumbling type of guy. <laughs> Are you sure? I, I he did just hit my head on the stool. He didn't bumble his way to the kitchen. I, I did definitely bumble my way to the kitchen in case you didn't oh, see. Oh no, that was not. 
That was not bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> that was purposeful sprinting. Well, shall we, uh, shall we convene in, uh, somewhere to, to talk? Sure, where to? I want to know if he just lied to me about those, uh, the bumbling hands. Okay. I'll do a, I'll do a, uh, deception. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Oh my hmm. god. Hmm. This, this this asshole's lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Fuck. You're like you're like this lion ass two foot tall prickle skin imp. <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, Don't I had still <laughs> I had to create a distraction so we can get into the the kitchen area. Why do you want to be in the kitchen? Look, let's just let's let's bring this outside. Yeah, yeah let's go outside. Yeah, Marcel, you, you see your outside. companions heading out, and. uh... All right, so as you guys are passing through the hallway, you guys see Ilmar. And uh, he kind of raises his eyebrows at you, and he's like, Oh, a lot of traffic here. You just missed uh, Morgana heading back to her tower. She looked pretty satisfied about something. Ah, and yeah. uh, Brix, at this point, you are you are no longer charmed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. <clears throat> um So in the middle of uh what's this guy's name again? Ilmar. Ilmar. In the name of of Ilmar speaking, I get the realization that I have just been charmed by Morgana. Uh and I'll just say like a uh Son of a dirty rotten gnome. I've been tricked. Well, you did drop some ball bearings, so. No, no, it's. It's. It's far worse than that. Ew. And Mars is kind of like. I mean, that's kind of subjective, you know? don't you think? You know, you're not the one that was tripping on the ball bearings. No, it's, it was, and I, and I looked to, to Ilmar and I look back to the, the party and, uh, I'll say it was, it was Morgana in a hush tone. She charmed And, uh, me. so Briggs, while you're having this discussion, uh, Marcel, are you, uh, did you stay behind in the lounge or what did so, you want to do? I'm basically sneaking out of here just to go into this hallway to drop uh, a pass without a trace on myself. Gotcha. All right, sorry, Briggs. Go ahead. Um, it was Morgana. She charmed me. I, I remember it now. She, she knows. Knows what? Everything. Ilmar. <laughs> Ilmar looks, uh, very frightened. What do you Are mean, you everything? I mean everything, everything, damn it. That... She, blanket. she made me tell her our purpose here, what we found out about the... the... the, the water... Nyad? Nyad, there you go, thank you, weird water lady who I haven't met before. Hi. <laughs> oh hey yeah this is my new fan uh, Ripple Ripple pleasure to meet you Hi nice to meet you what's your name Bricks Nice to meet you and Who is this that we're talking to as I point to The uh, dark skin elf Oh this is uh... he... It's the masseuse He's a good guy <laughs> Ilmar puts a hand on his chest and Bows lightly Ilmar madam 
and oh. uh, as Zilmar uh, rises up, he looks at uh, Chachmem and uh, kind of gives a, uh, you know, a one raised eyebrow and, and he says, I'm guessing you told your friends about me then. Well, we heard it. I, I heard it the from the, uh, the naiad in the spa area. She said yeah, that you were I good people. That. Pretty sure that was me. It was like... Oh, wasn't it all of us? Ilmar looks, Ilmar looks visibly relieved that, uh, you know, that's basically the only information that, that was exchanged. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the first time that we all went in there, the naiad told us, right? With all of us? Uh, I... Sure yeah. Huff, well, yeah. so he, the Nayad had said, I think, a drow, and then Huckman was the one that made the connection. Like, oh, the masseuse. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought she said the name of the person, and then. Okay. No. Yeah, she did. No, you're right. You're, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Oh right, yeah. Okay. So so yeah. So you know who you know. This is Ilmar. And you know that he's uh, friends with Silvery. And unfortunately, that means that uh, Morgana knows, too. <laughs> yeah, so she knows why we're here. She knows about the Naiad. She knows about our our plan to not take down the Naiad. And she sort of knows that you're friends with Silvery. As I, like, try to mumble away <laughs> that last part. And so he, so Ilmar just kind of uh, looks, you know, both ways to make sure that nobody's passing through. And, uh, and, and he looks to the party. You guys need to do something about her before she kills all of us. I can distract the other sisters, but only for a short time. And how do you propose we get rid of a hag? Well, you look like capable adventurers, judging by your armor and weapons. I'm sure you can find a solution. Slice and dice until she doesn't move. Like, <laughs> Elmar just kind of like nods at that suggestion. <laughs> Any additional information before we, you know, go risk our lives here? Be very helpful. Let's see if he knows anything. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, so uh, he so he shares what he knows, and um, he suspects. So he he tells you, um, I'm not exactly sure what they've done to Silvery, but I'm pretty sure you'd be able to find out either in the shrine or in the tower. Uh, but I haven't been able. You guys might have success where I've where I've failed, uh, because the hags they keep their their minions uh, close to me. So yeah, in case I don't, in case, so in case I do anything suspicious. I see. Well, let's wait for Marcel, and then we'll we'll make up a plan. Do we wait outside? Yes, it's not safe in here. I bid you a good day. Good luck. Goodbye. So, about those ball bearings and you lying to me. <laughs> okay, listen. Do we really want to talk about ball bearings yes. right now? Or do we want to yes, talk about do. the crisis yes, that we're we facing do. possible death? I need to make sure that my companions are trustworthy, pal. All right. Marcel, what you doing? <laughs> While the squabbling's so, going on. <laughs> I do... I, um turn the corner of that door um, and then do pass without a trace or, you know, decast it. Yeah. And then I just round this corner and I do like a big stretch to be like, man, sure did sleep in for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bar keeps on even notice you, really. Like, they acknowledge, like, they like briefly look in your direction, but they're like, man. All right, so I'm going to kind of like walk over to the barkeep and ask, um, have you seen uh, my lot of friends? 
Um, one of them just vaguely motions. They they point to the set of double doors that lead to the massaging area. All right, I'm gonna begrudgingly toss a silver to them, and they just nod to you. And then I'm gonna head over to the double doors, and I'm gonna walk all the way up to this guy. Uh, let's see. Um, so you see, as you're going down the hallway, you see the the what looks to be a drow. Um, he, you know, he looks you up top to bottom and sees that you are very clearly not here to enjoy a massage. And um, he asks you, "Are you looking for some friends, perhaps?" Yes, a short dog-looking dragon thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, what? Are we earshot of that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. This door's closed. Until, you know, like it's un it's unlocked, but you like you know it's closed. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so you're looking for a for a what? <laughs> a kobold. No, you're uh, just a dog dragon. <laughs> yes, your your kobold friend. Um, he he passed through these doors here with some other people just now. I'm sure you'll be able to catch them. Alrighty, uh, thank you. And he just gives you a nod. And then I just kind of dash through the door. Look, all you need to know is that I won't stab you in the back. Yeah, you'll just roll balls under my feet. It was for the greater good of the party. That was not much of a party to me. Look, if you need help with something, you got a plan? Let me know. I'm a team player. We were I'm shrouded in concealment. Team. I can't just walk up to you and then you'll start acting like you talk to nothing. I could know that now. Uh, what did I There's... miss? Oh, you were there nothing, for the nothing. Whole thing, I'll bet. Marcel, come here. <clears throat> do, 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 do. <laughs> Avoid the awkward, angry human. <laughs> Listen, when I fell on the bar stool, Morgana charmed me. And she knows everything. She knows about the Naiad. She knows about uh, why we're here. She knows about our drow friend just down the hall. Everything. The drow said uh, that we have to kill her now. Uh, said we have to do something about her. See, pretty heavily implied taking care of us. That escalated a little quickly. I thought we were going to get taken out by that dog. Same. <laughs> as I, like, as I start to like what, shake from my PTSD. How do you know about the dog? Um, why don't you go ahead and ask your uh, water friend over there what she saw? Oh, I'm looking through a window right now. <laughs> You just see the the hot spring. She's looking at I'm, the waters. No, I'm looking at it to, because since Brick said uh, Morgana, who we who I was told was a bad person, uh, knows about us uh, knows about the whole plan and stuff. I am worried that the Nyad uh, Karina is in danger, so I'm just making sure there's no one in there other than Karina in the water. Oh, no, they can't do anything to her in there. Are the Did windows, like, open at all, or are they, like, glass windows? They're glass. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go back to the group. What about me? <sighs> Alright, what oh, do you want to know? You're... Oh, you're the one that, uh, said shush, aren't you? Uh, yes, that is me. And I give a little bow, and I say, and who is this fancy young lady? Ripple. 
It's Ripple. She's my new fan. Met her out here. She's pushed me right over there. What? Hmm? <laughs> huh? Yeah. I I didn't do anything to you. You just no, like you... came up to me and said like No no no. What'd you do? No, you, you splooshed me over there when you came through that water portal. Oh yeah, I came through that. Yeah. I don't know what sploosh is though. My pleasure to meet uh, to meet you. My name is Marcel. <sighs> nice to meet you. Um not to hurry this along, but I would like to say that things are kind of in a time consuming manner. I agree. Yes, time the consuming. Our draw friends said that we can find more out about uh silver or silvery what happened to silvery previous owner of this establishment either by going in the tower or by going inside of the spa area again possibly finding more information yeah he said a uh, shrine right yeah he said shrine which could be like did he say where the shrine was like i i saw a building over like this way but that was it i think we have to go to the tower we could probably see it from there I don't disagree with that. But isn't Morgana in her tower? Yeah, yeah. She's a problem, too. She knows too much. <laughs> but if, like, Silvery is... Whether, like, if she's in the other building or something, should we, like, not save her? Well, we should, but the thing is, is we, we don't know. I don't even know where this shrine is at. Um, uh, Morgana's gonna know. Let me so let see. me go ask real fast, <laughs> as I go back in here what? to ask. Uh, so what's going on, guys? Yo, yo. So turns out I have a little bit of time. I oh, thought I was going to have to pretty much immediately switch out with my sister, but apparently not. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I guess, uh, Briggs, if you don't mind, we'll just do a quick, uh, cutaway to, uh, Bjorn. Sure. Um, Give me one well, second, I yeah. gotta get set up. Yeah, I was like, I... <laughs> I'm not going on my phone, like, oh, I'm on my laptop. Okay. I'm... Gotcha. I'm okay. just gonna Let... go on my phone. Yeah, we'll just, uh, stick with, 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 with Briggs is doing. Um, Briggs, are you, you, gotcha. you're looking for Ilmar in the hallway, you don't see him, and you open the... You open the doors to the massaging areas and you, and you don't see him. You, you wait, surmise wait. that he's, he's wait, probably Briggs. left to Briggs create that distraction. He's going to distract people for us. He's not going to be here. We got a limited time frame. We got to go up to the tower. Damn it. You're right. I know. <laughs> what? Try not to Such sound too ego. happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> You can always try to go right. back. Shit. Oh, well, I guess let's proceed. Oh, I gotta find out. Alright, so you guys are going up the tower? Cautiously. Yeah, we're gonna head that way. But... Cautiously. I think we need to the tower. Yeah. Point. How's that, Jared? I think the tower would give us a better vantage point. Morgana's in the tower. Where are you going? All right, so uh, Briggs and Marcel, as you guys are coming up to the doorway, um, you see, uh, you look up and you see that this is obviously a, a finely crafted stone tower that's, uh, you know, rising among the trees, uh, not too far from the bathhouse. You see a, a statue of a sharp, featured winged elf that's crouching above the front door, whose bright red surface is decorated with golden swirls. Um, and, you know, looking off, you know, as you guys come up the hill in front of the tower door, you guys are, you know, able to take in a little bit more of your surroundings. And uh, as you look to the west, you can definitely see what uh, appears to be uh, an old shrine. Where? The left? 
west west so okay. uh yeah so I, i'll just go ahead and wait 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 i've already been up here i would have known this did you remember remember what that the shrine was there what are you talking about exactly you know you're also, shit. you were also like <laughs> exercising so i wouldn't think that you were taking in the sights right i don't know i think she told me about it but i never got to see it so i don't remember uh, okay Well, you see it now. <laughs> Is that a shrine over there to the west? Ah. Well, I say we double back and go inside so, the shrine before we head into Morgana this tower. Morgana knows everything. She knew everything when I told her, but the yeah. spell has she since worn off, so anything we do now, she will not know. Yeah, but she's isolated right now. She's anticipating us. She but... is a powerful hag. You're... Uh, it is in our best interest dog. to have every advantage. I am a what? Huh? <laughs> what did you call me? I don't know what you're talking about. I step up to uh, Huckman and I like <laughs> I puff out my, my three foot tall chest. <laughs> hey, hang on, I'm gonna pause right here. Uh, are you ready, Bjorn? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna. Well, before you guys square up or square off or square down, depending on your, uh, you know, depending on your height. Um, <laughs> uh, Bjorn, you, uh, you come awake. Um, a slight ringing in your head, and you're like, "Oh man, probably shouldn't make a habit to sleep," you know. <laughs> With my head resting on a stone wall. <laughs> Where was I? What? What happened? I was taking off my armor, and I was trying to. What happened? Where's? Where the hell is everybody? So I so, try and I put back my armor on. <laughs> I then go out. I can't move my guy. I go out into the hallway, and then I look around. I don't see anybody. I then go down to uh, the dude Jared was thirsty for. There's, there's still thirsty for, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's still thirsty. Okay. Wrong, wrong time sense. Okay, still thirsty for. And I asked him, I was like, excuse me, lad. Uh, do you know where my companions went? I, I fell asleep in the changing room and they appeared to be gone. So uh, a safe turns around and is absolutely gobsmacked for a second, like, what how long has this fucking dwarf been here but quickly <laughs> regains his composure and tells tells you bjorn i'm not entirely sure sir to be quite honest with you but i did hear a commotion earlier in the lounge so they might be there hi thank you lad so then i go over into the lounge <clears throat> guessing i see no one except for the barkeep so i'm gonna walk up to the barkeeps i'm gonna ask them uh barkeep uh, first off, one Brandywood Ale, please. Oh my god. And also, secondly, <laughs> have you seen my companions? Uh, so they hand you the, the mug of, of Brandywood, and they also vaguely gesture to the double doors. Gotcha. Thank you. I guzzled down that one, slammed the mug. Ah. Still good as always. I hope there's and a cockroach the at the bottom. <laughs> Shut up, you don't even know what happened. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, Marcel hasn't told anybody. No. <laughs> Wait, what happened? You'll find out eventually. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, okay, so uh, you've made it outside, but we're gonna cut away to Bricks and, uh, and the party. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so Bricks walks up to Huckman and puffs out his three foot tall chest. <laughs> mm -hmm. What did you call me? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. I was, yeah. I'll just walk towards so Marcel. Ter- so terrifying. I'm gonna walk over uh, to Ripple and say, shall we? And then uh, start walking down the uh, path. Yeah, I'm going to follow. All right. And uh, so, Bjorn, as you're, you're kind of like looking around like, okay, where did they go now? Uh, you see um, uh, some what looks to be an apparently friendly humanoid person next to your your compatriots, uh, Hachmem, Marcel, and Bricks coming down the hill. We've already met. Oh, you guys already met? Okay, okay. So you basically yeah, see your party I coming down the hill. I was going with them into the little right, sauna. Right, right, right. right but right, then I right. decided to take my armor off. Yeah, you decided to take a post-drunk nap. Yeah, but no one knows how I'm a large Anasi, apparently. <laughs> I've hey, never seen a water Janasi. Sorry about that. I, uh, I, uh, I just was really sleepy for some odd reason. It was off for a spot. Did I miss, <laughs> Did I miss? I was wondering where you went. Yeah, I guess that brand new wood elf kind of hit me a little more than I thought. I tried to warn yeah. you. All, all ten of them? <laughs> <laughs> hey, in my homeland, that's a normal Tuesday morning. <laughs> Anyways, we're headed to the shrine here in the woods to gather Ready more to information about Morgana and her, her sisters. And uh, Silvery. I I shall tag along. Get ready to hunt some elves. Just if you could move my thing for me, please. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got Thank you. you. Thanks, bestie. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, bestie. Going by the windows, do I see anything different other than what I saw before? From the uh, no, everything looks the the same. Okay. Um, so from the uh, uh, the last conversation you had, or I guess the first and the last conversation you had with the Nyad, uh, she did tell you that um, she's currently confined to her waters, but it's also like her power over the waters that's keeping her protected from from the hags and her minions. So as long as she stays there, they can't hurt her. As far as she knows. Well, but... yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. I'm a very cautious humanoid. <laughs> Fair point. Fair enough. All right. So, um, so let's see. So before you guys, uh, yeah, I guess if we stop right there. So, um, you guys are coming upon the shrine uh, after getting through a brief uh, copse of trees, and uh, you see that this crumbling stone building must have once been a beautiful shrine. Engraved images of Sune are still visible on the moss-covered stones. Her face gazing down on the path by which the faithful would have approached. Stone doors at the front of the shrine appeared to be sealed shut by some sort of thick, clear resin. A faint inscription is still visible above them. And the inscription reads, Welcome, dearest ones. Come find the beauty within you. That's supposed to be. Ah. Let's say, come find the beauty within me. Yeah. And then, hot. <laughs> as soon as I hear that, I'm going to look at Bricks and say, the book. The book? Book? What book? The book that brought us here. Oh, did it also say that? It did. Hmm. Glad you remember that. Silvery Songs book. Uh, I will walk up to the door and see, try to nudge it open. Okay, so, um, it's like that, that stone door is like, it, you know, you try and nudge it open but uh, it's not budging one inch and you know that the resin that's coated over the the door is um 
you know, it seems like, you know, super glue, basically. Um, you also notice, you know, like, you know, as you kind of like take a, a general glance at the, at the front of the shrine, um, you see that the shrine's windows are all seem to be coated uh, by the same resin that's on the door. That's exactly what I was going to ask if I could see so through the windows. <laughs> he loves the windows. Uh, yep. So, uh, so okay. So, uh, uh, Ripple, when you uh, you know you kind of like you know you do that thing where you where you cup your hands to like you know get a really good look inside, and um, you can see that the interior of the shrine has the appearance of having been abandoned a after some sort of terrible confrontation years ago. Broken benches with shredded cushions are overgrown by thick fungi, and four large mirrors hang on the walls. Hanging on the walls have been shattered, leaving the stone floor covered in shards of broken glass. We gotta be careful when going in. There's like glass everywhere in here. And it, it looks like uh, there's broken pieces of everywhere, of everything, and fungi growing on some benches, I think? Good thing I got shoes on. Hmm. A fight seems to have taken place here. inside, based off of that description. Do I see any, like, living beings or any beings with movement in there? Uh, no, but you can see what looks to be some sort of banister uh, to, uh, you know, to a lower level. I can't see anything moving in there, but there is some sort of, I don't know, a lower, like, staircase or something going to a lower level. So I maybe something to, down there. I try really hard to open the door. All right. Roll me an athletics check. Athletics check. I'm going to just take a step back as he does that. Yeah, I'm going to uh, off. <laughs> oh, so no one's going to help him for advantage? Fuck. I'm not very strong. Oh, true. Mm -hmm. I'm three I feet tall. I will give him disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Orf was paying attention. Uh, Stu, would you like to help uh, Huckman? I want to see if he passes first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, so... Uh, um, okay. <laughs> you, you give it a good heave, Huckman, but it ain't budging. Yeah, that's a very average try. <laughs> um, hey, lad. You're so weak. Come on, let's do this together. And then I'm going to help him out. Yeah. Alright, so I guess, since you guys are both doing it now, then Bjorn gets advantage. Uh, can you do the rolls for me, please? Sure. Uh, what is... Do you know what your modifier is? My modifier is a plus seven. Plus seven? For acrobatics? Yep, my what? athletics is plus seven. Hold on. What? That's... that's a your acrobatics your... is a plus one, my guy. No, athletics. Oh, athletics. athletics. Yes, it's a plus seven. Uh, okay. okay. All right. So you guys are both given the heave ho, and and Bjorn, you're still you're still uh, a little revved up from that from chugging that uh, brandy wine. So you give a good jolly old you know good old dwarf like ramp. And uh, the stone doors budge, and they, you know, uh, well, they don't budge. They actually slam right wide open. You guys just crack that resin, and your way is clear. There we go, lad. All right. So now that you guys entered, you see, um, you know, you guys are able to better see inside, and you see a, a grime-encrusted statue of Sune that stands against the far wall. The statue's expression might have once suggested smiling laughter, but streaks of dirt now make it appear as though she is weeping. And behind the statue, you guys notice the staircase that, that Ripple was, was uh, talking about. Is there anything yeah. else in here? Uh, there's broken glass all over the floor, so who does not have shoes on? Uh, me. But I'm, I have dragon skills. So does that count for something? <laughs> is that like an actual thing or is that no. just like okay I mean I'm uh, just like you know I would naturally assume dragon scales are pretty hard so you know things like me stepping on glass he's got trailer park feet that's like a plus hopefully one hopefully won't do okay. anything <laughs> I but it's up to you feet. 
I look down at bricks and then I point to my uh, boots of the Winterlands. <laughs> Your boots of the what? <laughs> plug the item that I rolled for. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You gonna lend him your boots? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but the you bring I'm it gonna up? I'm gonna pick him up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you gonna carry the dragon boy? <laughs> um... As, <laughs> as Marcel tries to go to pick me up, I put my hand out and I, and I try to stop him and I... What are you doing, Marcel? <laughs> oh, I no, no. Pick, pick up not. Dragon Boy. Pick him up. I'm sh I would <laughs> rather walk through the glass and have my pride be taken from me. <laughs> Is there any, like, water in this uh, area? Uh, so, as a water ganasi, would you be able to sense water nearby? I don't think so. Um, but I can, like, shape water so I can, like, push the glass away. I see, I see. Um, and, and I'm gonna say no, not really. There's no. No water here. Okay. With all I will these step trees... forward with, because I have, uh, I have split mail. So I'm gonna step forward and with my shoes, I'm gonna kind of clear a path for him as I walk through. Uh, yes. Just saying, you could have rode on my back. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but I will have to decline. I laugh. He could have rode on my back too, That's but I highly same. doubt he wants someone of the same size to carry him. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know I about same Briggs. size. I look at Bricks and I say, "May the best thief win." And then I try to make it like a little race. <laughs> um. I will just laugh to myself and then I will run on in. All right. Uh, so, you know, you guys have the description of the shrine um, and, you know, the staircase is there. It's, uh, it looks, you know, to be uh, well made, hardly any damage despite the shrine neglect, structurally sound. Um, what do you guys want to do? Uh, well, before heading down the stairs, I'm going to go ahead and ready my shield and i'm ready a hand axe okie doke give me a second I'm going so to instead of my battle axe i'm ready my hand axe well, okay he's got stuff out i'm just gonna get my glaive out now <laughs> i looking over the banister does it look dark down there uh yeah it looks kind of dark but um it might be a trick of of the light but you could have you could swear that you could see like a faint a fast, ever so faint glow. I, okay. uh, I want to investigate the tree that's inside the wall. <laughs> it's just a tree that's growing from the ruined shrine. Oh. You know, when nature takes things back, that kind of thing. I don't know. Like, what's right here? What is this? Is that a mirror? Yeah, it's just like mirror sh in mirror shards, yeah. Okay. I yes, that's Mare. Mare. Be as Nightmare. sneaky as possible. Yeah. And start heading down the stairs. So you're moving across the shrine in stealth? Uh, up to the stairs. So I'm going to get up to the stairs and then I'm going to start heading down them in stealth. Okay. Um, Jess, I would like to cast dark vision on myself because even if there's a faint glow down there it's still very faint so it could be dark so I want to cast dark vision on myself okie doke okay. do I do All the, right. what do I do do the cast spell slot or uh, yeah I think you just if it's a if it's part of a spell slot you just uh, take one of the boxes off in uh, your D&D beyond profile okay I'll do that all right, so you got dark vision activated and ready to go. Uh, Bricks, you, are uh, you gonna do anything? Yeah, I want to. I want to investigate the the mirror to see if there's any inscription on the mirror, or if the mirror has any magical properties, or is is a magic property but just emanates magic. Okay, so um, you know you're looking around and um, 
other than like what looks to be, uh, you know, something worn, uh, you see what vaguely resembles uh, carved lilies, um, you know, obviously roughly worn away by time. Um, these mirrors hold no magical properties. And there's no inscription? No. Okay, then, um... I would like to... There's no more casting time rather than... I think 10 minutes too, once you see... You just spend a few Okay. So... I would like to then, once I see that there are no magical properties, no inscriptions, uh, walk back up to this door and cast Alarm. Mm -hmm. And what that does is basically I set an alarm against unwanted intrusion, choose a door, a window, or an area with a range that is not so larger than 20 foot cube. Until the spell ends, an alarm alerts you whenever a tiny or larger creature enters or enters or touches the warded area. When you cast the spell, you can designate creatures that won't set off the alarm. You can choose whether the alarm is mental or audible. A mental alarm alerts you with a ping in your mind if you are within one mile of the warded area. The ping awakens you if you are sleeping. An audible alarm produces the sound of a handbell for 10 seconds within 60 feet. Uh, so it is a, a, a ritual, so typically it would it would the casting time is 11 minutes but i have a awakened spell book feature which allows me to just cast it as a normal action and uh it's Dang. going to be a mental uh alarm so it's not going to be audible okay so when you're casting the spell are you making like any motions or like are you pulling out a book yeah. Like basically, like, are, are, does the party see that you're doing something to the door? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They, yeah. What you doing over there, lad? Making sure nobody comes at our backs. Aye. Good idea. All right. You guys ready to head out? Down? <laughs> uh, yep. Before we do, uh, I want to ask really quick. So the reason why I got my hand axe out was because I'm trying to use it with my fire rune. Um, but what I want to know is, can I throw it and bring out my, uh, my what you call it, axe in the same turn? Uh, no, because throwing it is an action, I believe, and you would need to take another action to, to pull out your, uh, your axe. So essentially, I'd have to do action surge to do it. Yeah. Uh, I want to do that shit. Uh, uh, never mind. I'm gonna go ahead and just ready my battle axe. All right. Is everyone ready? Yep. Okie dokie. And away we go. Oh. I don't like it. I see a lot of stuff. Oh, I don't like it at all. Oh, I like the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's fuzzy. All right, so who? Golly, where's the bit rate? Jesus. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it was Marcel that came in first, right? Mm hmm. All right. Let's see. A stealthy roll of 14. Yeah, so yeah, okay. And uh, then it was Chachmem, and then Ripple, and then... Put this wherever we land, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. That's right. <laughs> okay. Wait, where am I? Where are you? Oh, yeah. He stairs. He would have he been ahead yeah. of me. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I think I was behind. Uh, Is Ripple, okay. Huck, um, yeah, we're the closest to the banister, and uh, Marcel was already heading down the stairs. And, Stealthily. Uh, and Bjorn was uh, right behind Marcel. Yeah. Okay. There you 
you. All right. All right. So uh, as you guys, you know, you guys head down the the stairs. Um, and, you know, it takes a minute or a moment for your eyes to adjust, um, but you see a soft white glow rising from a square pool set into the floor of this chamber. Torn cushions, rags, tapest tapestries, and clothing have been piled in one corner as a makeshift bed, while twigs and scraps of deadfall form a simple campfire nearby. Huh. Um, am I supposed to be able to see this brain person? Uh, yeah. Okay. Who they that? I don't know, we're still on the stairs and someone's in front of me. I can't see shit. I'm going to step down and kind of come over this direction and kind of scope out everything. Yeah. Hey. So, uh, you, what you so, what so, you doing uh, down here? <laughs> your, your casual hey has, uh, has popped this, uh, this humanoid looking being out of out of their reverie and they they look towards your direction and you see their face just contort into um, into a hostile snarl as they hiss out wicked creatures from the hags I see no no <laughs> no Irina sent us no <laughs> I I I I put the glaive away. <laughs> eh? Eh? Nope. I've already played this game before. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. We not are looking not to with get back. So the whole party is the whole party going like, whoa, hey, whoa, no, hey, whoa. Yeah. Is that what you guys are? Yeah, okay. pretty much. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm still on so the stairs. you got to move me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Hachmem, uh, since you're the one who made first contact, I'm going to need you to roll a persuasion or a charisma check, um, and you'll get advantage. Me? Yes. Okay. Uh, charisma? Charisma, charisma yep. Ooh, you got the wrong oh. guy for that. Oh. Ooh! <laughs> she don't, don't believe you. I'm sorry, y'all are gonna need to roll initiative. <laughs> It ain't oh. like that. I already put the weapon away. God damn it, Huckman. <laughs> I put my weapon away. Put oh, some sweet, points into bad. charisma, my dude. Yo, <laughs> oh, is <Marcella's> better. <laughs> okay, so everyone. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So everyone is rolling. Okay. Okay. Can you do right. mine with advantage, please? Uh, so I'm only going to give Huckman advantage. Um, do you have a charisma modifier? No, no, no. My shield gives me advantage. Oh, for initiative? <laughs> yeah, for initiative. Wait, oh, really? Just supposed to fight your, some shit. <laughs> your arm is straight up like, all right, boom, yeah. boom, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's a dope. Let's shield. clap some cheeks. <laughs> um, so we're going to hold off on that because it looks like, let's see who passed. Uh, so Ripple, Marcel, uh, Marcel, do you come out of stealth? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, you come out of stealth and, and you and Ripple managed to convince this person that you did not come with hostile intentions. You were just, you know, taking precaution. We like uh, water. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, in this whole time that, you know, this interaction took place, she's been looking off center from you guys. So, like, at an angle, right? Not making direct eye contact with you. Um, almost as if she's, you know, not acknowledging you, but she can definitely hear you. And so when Ripple and Marcel explain that, you know, hey, we didn't, we didn't come here to kill you. We're just trying to find out what's going on. Um, she, you know, her, her face seems to relax and she, uh, she tells you, give me a moment. And she turns around to her makeshift bedding and tears out a scrap of cloth and, and binds it around her eyes. And then, um, let's see. And, and 
And then she asks, you know, uh, who are you then if you haven't come to kill me? What was the uh, Naiad's name again? Kyrena. Hi, I'm right. Ripple. We're here with uh, Kyrena. She uh, she told us about the, the the questionable stuff that you know the three hags were doing. And uh, as you mention uh, the water Naiad's name, uh, you see a complete shift in her facial features. She looks, you know, a combination of like relief heartbreak nostalgia kind of like flitter across her expression and and she kind of just says you know she's like oh my goodness night kyrena she's she's alive she's well i she is and then i lean in and i say ilmar as well and she she snaps towards your voice marcel and and she says uh ilmar it's been an eon since i've seen him how long has he been back? And she's just... Eon. Elves of a long time. <laughs> so she says, uh, you know, says, Ilmar, wow, when, oh my gosh. When did, did he come back? You realize that's a half a billion years, right? <laughs> I just Googled that too. I was like, wait a minute. And Eon is 0.5 billion years. Elves live a long time, all right? Okay. <laughs> that's not even life. That's just immortality. All right, well, then it's a figure of expression, all right? There. You happy? She could be a true. You don't know. True. You don't know. <laughs> but do we, though? Do we? Uh, do you? Do we not know? <laughs> do we not know? really don't know um so i'm gonna just say honestly i don't have that answer um but he is alive and well ah that's a relief <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry where are my manners <laughs> i'm silvery yep. what <laughs> you look very silvery hey you're the one who wrote that book <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you guys are looking at her, and you guys can definitely tell that she does not look like an elf. Yeah, Where you look she? like a Medusa. <sighs> what can happened? Can we make a check? Oh, is that Ripple? Oh, I was saying, can we like do like an Arcana check to see what she is? Sure. Okay. Uh, what happened to you? I'm gonna do that. You gonna ask her? Or Arcana check and ask her? Yeah. Minus one. Mm. Alright, well, Ripple, you you know she's a Medusa. Oh, so now I understand why she covered her eyes. <laughs> and uh, so she turns to Hachmem after he asked his, asked uh, his question, and she tells him, Once I was a devoted priest of Sune and shared her her teachings to uplift others and help them realize their own worth. And for a time, things were peaceful and good. Until I was... Until I was tricked by those hags and... And eventually, I was chased here. And... And... Why haven't locked you inside. Here? I haven't been able to... To escape. There's... You know, they've... They've sealed the windows... And the doors and... I haven't the strength to open them. Well, let me tell you well, what. That door's <laughs> open. Me and uh, Ugmem. Me and Ugmem over there, we uh, we kind of opened it. Uh, for, uh, Mem. As you can tell, we're in. Ugmem, I said it, okay? Ugmem. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to hawk a loogie when I'm trying to say your name, okay? <laughs> <laughs> We opened the door for you, so you're free. Ah. Oh. She so she you know she briefly looks you know overjoyed and relieved, and then you know she a frown just kind of takes over her features, and, and she says, "But the hags, ha, what about have they have they been been killed or have they left? 
Are they still here? They're still I, here. I don't know. I kind of just woke up not too long ago. Mm -hmm. No, They're we were just here. going to take care of one, and then we came over here instead. See. You want to help us? Morgana's up there. We know right where she is. She's all alone. And so, at the at the offer of uh, of a chance of of you know exacting uh, justice and, and and vindication, you know she she uh, she frowns a little bit and she says, "Yes, I will help you." Yes. I the more the merrier. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. <laughs> yes. How did you get turned into this being that you are now? Oh, that's important to know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think she was born that way, you guys. It's kind of rude to ask. <laughs> Nessa. No, we gathered. to be an elf. <laughs> oh, Ripple, I forgot you weren't here prior. Yes, uh, it's commonly known that, that Silvery is uh, supposed to be an elf. No, I'm a, which no, she's I'm a no longer an elf. Many years ago, the hags came to me, I couldn't discern their true nature at the time, and they enticed me into a bargain, which came with a terrible curse. They created a, a magical painting of me that granted me a great boon. But after a year of that painting being made of me, I was turned into a Medusa. And when I tried to, when I tried to take my temple back from them, they came here and sealed me in the shrine. So what, what great boobs did they give you? Boon. Boon. Oh, boon. <laughs> hey, lad, you might want to open your ears. <laughs> and close your zipper. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> all right. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'd like to take back my temple as soon as possible. And I'm a battle freak and I like battles. Let's go. <laughs> it's business right. water. It looks special in any way. part of the fray, so I can't wait to get my feet wet. Uh, let me see. <laughs> well, you've had a bit of a dry spell, Jared. <laughs> Uh, so you're you're looking at the water and you're trying to discern what sort of properties it has. Um, and you notice, you know, once you spend some time actually like, getting a good look, that um, it, even though it's glowing, it doesn't actually have any uh, magical properties to it. Um, the glowing light is being produced by an object that's at, at the bottom of the pool. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> yeah, what's at the bottom of the pool, uh, ma'am? Oh, that's... Uh... Let's see. That's a, a mirror I, I threw in. Um, that's a hand mirror I threw in after shortly after I became uh, Medusa, or after I was transformed into this grotesque shape. Why is it uh. glowing? Oh, uh, well, it's a. Uh, I guess you could, you know, it's a it's a magical mirror. Um, and so she, you know, she's got her, she's got her blindfold on, so she can't actually look. And um, so she kind of like gestures, you know, towards the water vaguely, like a, like a come hither. And um, you guys see a water weird uh, carry the hand mirror back up to the surface. A what? A, what? Oh, a nice. water weird. There's something weird going on yeah. here. I, what the fuck is a water? Interesting. Oh, it looks like a water snake. Yeah. Is it a dragon? Wait. Hold on. Oh, wait, whoops. Uh, oh, no, I'm looking at the... No, don't do that. Uh, hang on, for some reason it's not, it's, uh... There we go. Oh, it's an elemental. There we go. I was go. looking at the player's handbook on accident. 
I posted it and Candle keeps shenanigans. Yeah, that's the picture I was looking at. Uh, yes. Wait, hold on. Ain't that the boss in a Legion dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean... one? That water elemental that we had to fight. And, uh... I don't know why I can't think of the dungeon's name. Oh, that was oh Ashara! The, the yeah. thing of Ashara. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of. But yep, so uh, so the water weird, um, you know, it brings it to the surface and it kind of just like with a little boop, just kind of uh, gently uh, uh, tosses it to the to the edge of the pool. What? I pick it up. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So as you pick it up, Ripple, you see that it's um it's just continually shedding uh dim light. Do we know what a water weird is? No, you just see like some vague water shape. You can roll Arcana to see if you know what it is. Can I roll Arcana too? Yeah. It was actually. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> you don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> I thought I would see it, but I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's a cute little creature. Yeah, it looks Can I ask great. you what it is? That creature's been my only companion for the last who God knows how many years while I've been stuck in this shrine. Probably about a period, huh? <laughs> that doesn't exactly answer my question, but it also answers it at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to uh, outstretch my arm and lightly touch uh, her with the mirror and just be like, oh, here, he brought it up. Uh, she'll she'll go ahead and take the mirror and uh, lightly, uh, you know, incline her head and thanks. It's glowy. <laughs> well, okay. we better get a move on before Morgana... Yeah. Leaves her tower. Yeah, let's let's get the cup out of here. <laughs> Meowdy three thousand. Uh, as I come up, I want to walk back over towards Ooh. the. Oh yeah, someone's gonna have to guide. Um. Oh, I'll guide her. Okay. Yeah, she's Where is very she? excited to do that. <laughs> uh, what? I'm gonna walk over to Nothing to this mirror. I expect that. And I'm going to try to look for big chunks of mirror that have been broken off. Uh, probably preferably bigger than my hand. Mm -hmm. um, or slightly bigger than my hand. And I want to put it in my backpack. Okie doke. How many chunks did you want to take? Uh, two. Okie doke. All right. So you go ahead and chuck those in your backpack for God knows what. MacGyver? Uh, from what I'm understanding, he's uh, on broken glass and everything, so... <laughs> I only did one singular path. <laughs> yeah, he's walking around with his bare feet on that glass. Ouch. Ouch. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Standing right outside the door, so whenever I see Brick's exit, I do a little uh, salute, and I say... I guess I'm the best thief. That remains to be seen, but I enjoyed the challenge. Here, take this. And I and I pull a chunk of mirror out of my uh out of the backpack and I hand it to uh to Marcel. I look at the mirror and I say, "Ah, clever. I'm pretty sure Huckman's taken off without you guys." <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm. I can't move. Uh, I, sorry, I keep on forgetting her name. Uh, I can't move her, so I was just like silvery. With her. Silvery, yeah. Oh, try to move her now. I think I, I'm pretty sure I gave you permissions. Oh, sweet. I can. Okay, sweet. So, how do I move them both? <laughs> uh, you can drag. Oh, there we and go. Drag and dragon. That will make her. Ah. Make her go. Uh, with me. so. Just in case, I'm going to kind of rummage around my pack thinking, hmm, what can I use in this upcoming battle? And I want to see what I have. Am I missing anything? 
Are you missing anything? What do you mean? Yeah, like, like, am I missing gold? Am I missing, you know, my drift oh, globe? Oh, nah, nah, nah. Nobody touch your shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and if you would, can you move my, uh... He was sleeping <laughs> over there in a dressing room, so no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hawkman, as you and Bjorn come down, uh, you see the statue that was uh, perched over the entrance uh, drops down, and with the flourish, you see uh, what looks to be an illusion uh, dissipate and turn into uh, what looks to be a not so friendly stone creature. Roll meat initiative. Oh, skull? If you would do it for me, please. I have a plus yeah. one, and I do it with advantage. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker. I'll be right back. Yeah. Wait, did my <laughs> go through? I got this weird message uh, saying you wanted to send the result running. of this scroll to the, the track tracker. To the what? Oh, I was saying, I see a thing saying you wanted to send the result of this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid yes. token was selected. Uh... You have to left click yourself and then oh roll, i think oh yeah i need to how do i roll no. her oh um, yeah oh then i roll the freaking nat 20 just no how do i roll silvery uh specifically yeah leave it open i did not roll it uh i think you'll just have to do you can do a separate a separate d20 roll okay hey, i tried to change mine to three it still shows me enough. Uh, let's see. I gotta pull it up real fast. I accidentally re-rolled and got a net twenty, which I'm really sad about wasting. <laughs> Oof. Let's see. Uh, Marcel, you have two turns. I'm just gonna get rid of this one. How do I get rid of this one? Ah, there we go. Okay, 2017. In, uh, let's see. So, uh, what did. Oh, that's right, you still need the initiative. Uh, she gets a plus two. Okay. Oh, wrong way. How close did I get before he dropped down? Oh, same as me. Cool. <laughs> uh, you're like. Like, right as you're approaching the door, he dropped down right in front of the door. So he, okay. he pretty close. So like this? Yeah. Okay. I was a startled boy with my three. Yeah. <laughs> you really were, though. We rolled high, but not high enough. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, I rolled a 19 too for myself. Oh, you rolled a 19 for yourself? Okay. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, um, Michael, you back yet? Yeah, been here. No, the other one. Come on. <laughs> hey, you're gonna have to use, like, different names. Yeah, something. Michael too, remember? Never was. How about we just use the last names? <laughs> yeah. Because I Let guarantee you, y'all got the same name. last name. You don't know that. How much you want to bet that I know your last name is not the same as his? Well, you should <laughs> know my last name. I don't think I knew it at, at one point. Well, you should. All I know is your name is Mike. No, it's Michael. Okay. I call you Mike. <laughs> that was your first mistake. I, I think apparently uh, everyone else is. While we're waiting for Michael, we'll go ahead and start the encounter. So, uh, Marcel, what do you want to do? Uh, as soon as I see the beast uh, drop down, I'm going to ready my bow uh, and arrow. Yeah. Wait, I thought Huckman uh, rolled 21. No, nah, that was the second one. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to... 
You forgot to add uh uh what's your uh, uh you forgot to add Ripple to the turn order. No, she's there. No, you have I uh own. Silvery there. So you have Silvery but not her. I see Silvery and then I see Ripple right below her. They're both nineteens. Oh, I don't see beyond there. Yeah, I don't see that either. <laughs> I don't I don't see it either. We well, have to the server. It should be so that's okay. I'll just call it the turns that I see. Okay. Um, uh, as soon as I see it uh, drop down, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark at level two. Okay. I'm back. Welcome back. Of course. So it gives you plus one. Uh, choose a creature that you can see within range. Um, mark your quarry until the spell ends. Deal an extra 1d6 damage uh, to the target whenever you hit the weapon. Okay. They so you cast Hunter Mark. Uh, all right. Also, as a survival thing, um, I can also track monsters that have the Hunter's Mark on it. Okay. Okay. Um, so you're going to... Um... So you cast your Hunter's Mark. Um, is that an action or? That is, I think so. To cast its one spell slot. So yeah, that would be an action. Okay. No, not not exactly. Some spell slots will still give you a bonus one. You just got to read what the uh, what the spell is. It's action. a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, okay, Hunter's Mark is a bonus action. Okay. Oh, yep, it's a bonus action. Okay, so you, okay. And then for my action... Uh, da -da. Does Hunter's Mark apply for everybody? No. Are you a hunter? I used to be. <laughs> Unless you oh, are multi-class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take two shots uh, with my longbow. Roll to hit. Do you want me to roll for both? Uh, one at a time. Holy shit! So Twenty-four. Oh, very oh. nice. All right, we'll roll for damage on that one. All for your second shot. And then we add the hunter's mark damage to it, right? Which is yeah. the plus one. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Uh, so your first shot goes off and the second shot um, just kind of like it uh, glances off the shoulder. Um, you make like a small, like the teeny tiniest little cracks of your first shot before that too also... Uh, Falls off. Alright. Is there anything else you want to do? I'm just going to take one small step back. Okay. And then that'll end my turn. Alright, and then now it's, um... Let's see, Medusa... Okay, so she's going to go ahead and do that that came through. All right, so Medusa uh, apparently has a longbow, or Silvery apparently has a, a longbow as well, and uh, tries to take a shot blindfolded in the oh general God. direction of the of where the commotion started. <laughs> And absolutely, Do I see her doing that. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to like. Uh, <laughs> Last, you may want to take the blindfold off. I duck. <laughs> yeah, I duck. Oh my god. So, and, and she tells you, "I can't, I can't risk petrifying you." Oh no, no, that's pretty petrifying on its own. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, uh, Ripple, what do you do? Um, seeing her with a longbow, I'm going to try to like. I'm first going to like angle her so she's angled more towards the uh creature. I, <laughs> and then I'm over here. <laughs> yeah, but it's better that she's aimed towards the creature rather than aimed towards anywhere around the creature. Okay, so you're just kind of guiding her to where to shoot? Well, I was going to just move her slightly, and then would that be an action, or can I also move and attack? You can move and attack since you're, you're having to guide her. Okay. So I'll just be like, okay, shoot in this direction. And then I'm going to, like, skedaddle over... Hold on. Uh, sorry. Five, ten, twenty. Um, and does a melee spell attack get advantage with, with a, uh, with a, uh, with a uh, Huckman there? Huckman. If not, that's okay. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it would. Standing okay. on either side like that, I thought you would get you get advantage. That's in the handbook. Oh, is it? I believe it is. I know with weapon attacks it is. I just don't know with like melee weapon attacks. I just don't know about melee spell attacks. Well, it, you're still touching, and that's a. a Are you rolling a d20 to hit it? It's a melee yeah. attack, it's, but it's it's a spell. primal savagery. I mean, I, I'm gonna say it's up to the to the DM. Yeah, I'm not. I would uh, say yeah. Yeah, I'm not totally. I don't know all of the rules, but uh, yeah, I mean that jives with me. I'll let you roll advantage. Okay, so... Like, melee uh, spell, you still have to touch him, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. that's the first roll, and it automatically rolled the damage, so I'll just do, uh, that. Yeah. So I'd like to go with the first roll, if possible. <laughs> yep, go ahead. Oh, you gotta go with the second one. <laughs> um, it rolled damage, <laughs> and it said 12 acid damage. Okay, so is the primal savagery is that one t uh, like a to hit, or yeah, one yeah, to hit? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, it basically my uh, my teeth grow very long like an anglerfish, and I just try to bite this thing. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right, hungry aren't we? But you <laughs> you sink your your teeth into the stone skin and you you hear the satisfying sizzle sizzle of stone being eaten away as the as the gargoyle shrieks and uh, and you know tries very roughly and almost desperately to shove you off like a leech <laughs> yeah uh... I'm I'm not grappling him just so you know yeah just like a just like a chomp. Yo, <laughs> she's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, is there anything else you wanted to do? Uh, I think that's all I can do. So, uh... Yeah. Okay. Alright, Bjorn, you're up. I'm gonna walk right up next to him while walking. I was like, eh, well, it's definitely gonna get me into Valhalla, but screw it, let's go. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my my battle axe and I'm gonna essentially just attack him twice um if you would roll me those attacks please okay so do you have any modifier to your uh to hit plus seven plus seven to hit that fucking hits all right what's the damage time uh give me one second I gotta come over here I forgot for my battle axe. Oh, wrong way. Yeah. No! Damn it! I'm pretty sure it's a 1d8 plus 4. Right. So uh, as you bring your battle axe down, you manage to uh, chip away uh, like a nice little, little neat little triangle of its torso as it uh, whips around to hiss at you. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, a second attack. Second attack. Okay. Is that using uh, action surge? No, I can do I can attack twice uh, each time. 
Okay. Oh, extra attack. Yeah, extra attack. Fighters yep. and oh yeah, there it is. And rangers, gotta love them. Yeah. I think a twenty hits. I think so too. Wow. Alrighty, so uh, that really took a big chunk out of its uh, out of uh, its calves. And um, like you're not yeah, even just... really sure how it's still standing up because you took out, you know, you knocked a big chunk of stone out, and uh, it's it, it's just like looking really frenzied and like you know it's got murder in its eyes, but you can tell it's pretty beat up. Okay. And then as I end in my turn, I'm gonna kind of taunt him like, "I, I lad, come on, bring it! I got you. You try and hit me. Let's see who wins." <laughs> Will that end your turn? Yeah. All right. Um, the gargoyle answers that summons. Um, it's going to move to bite you. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> and uh, uh, that misses. And what's up? I'm going to use Sentinel attack. He's okay. not technically moving, though. Don't have to. When a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than me, I can just oh. make a melee attack. Nice. Okay. Uh, so that doesn't hit, Stu. Um, it glances off your armor. Uh, and uh, Huckman, go ahead and... 19 AC and, for you. Yep. <laughs> go ahead and, and roll for that attack. That fucking heats... <laughs> how much we damage Jesus fucking Christ we're uh... all murdering this thing <laughs> <laughs> alright so am I even you've taken a turn? <laughs> you've taken out like a quarter of its wings this thing is permanently grounded it's not even my turn yet <laughs> <laughs> yo and uh... <laughs> All right, so the and the gargoyle still continues its attack uh, on the dwarf that taunted it, and it and it tries to claw at you, which also glances off your armor. Um, Bricks, what do you do? Oh, I get to go. <laughs> you get to go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'm just gonna move up here. I cast uh, fireball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna cast fireball in an area where I'm just standing. Fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> um. Fireball, don't fireball him. That's a Stranger Things reference. Did 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 did. Yep. So I'm just going to attack with uh, both of my scimitars. And so my first scimitar, I get a 19. Does that hit? That, yes. <laughs> awesome. It deals five damage. And then. That's. Uh. Okay, and then I'm gonna deal sneak attack damage for six. So, um, basically, it already rolled the sneak attack. Oh, it did. Yeah, your I sneak didn't even... attack damage was a two. Oh, I didn't even look at the thing. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Well, that's fine then. So seven damage. Uh. So yeah. So I get sneak attack because uh, a I have advantage because other people are within five feet, so we're flanking. And um, even if I didn't get advantage, just them being within five feet of the enemy still gives me the ability to sneak attack. I can only do sneak attack once per turn. So when I roll the second one, if it hits, just ignore the sneak attack. Um, so with my second scimitar, I'm going to swing. Okay. 16. Uh, that hits. Right, and this one just does, I think I have to do this. No, I could just, I mean, you if you just, just click the, roll. Yeah, and it, you could just, we'll just ignore the sneak attack damage. Uh, well, because it, it, um, 
it I don't get my proficient I don't get my bonus plus three on the attack. Oh, oh, it's it's because just a weapon damage. Oh. Yeah, it's just weapon damage because I'm uh, it's two handed. It's a second attack thing. All right, bricks. Still support damage. All right, so you've managed to somehow, you know, with your sneak attack, get it in the eyes and then get it in the knees, and uh, you've uh, you've ex- you've exploited that weakness that Bjorn opened up, and so its leg is totally chopped off, and it's like you know, it's it's a. Uh, heaved to the side and and, and huffing and, and snarling and uh uh trying to you know it's going out fighting right like but it, you can tell like it's 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 not gonna last much longer not even my turn yet <laughs> <laughs> this is a single creature we're really bullying yeah. it <laughs> okay. Um uh, that's uh that's my turn. All right. Uh huh. It's a so gargoyle's turn, isn't it? Nope, it's your turn. Oh. The gargoyle already went. It's my turn. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to attack it. <laughs> he misses. Snowball. Nope. All right. We'll How do you kill it? Just, just poke the glaive through its face. Just, just poke it through its face. <laughs> and as you've wrenched the last of its life force by just chopping away at the stone, the the gargoyle crumbles to fine dust. Man, I barely got a turn. <laughs> <laughs> I barely got a turn, in my ass. You already I did damage on him. Yeah, I get three attacks on my turn, man. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> three? Yes. Damn, and I thought two was enough for me. <laughs> and before well, it's think like of it this way. Go ahead. Sorry, you got... No, I was just going to say before Silvery like shoots the bow and arrow again, I'm just going to call to her and say, "Ma'am, it, it's it's dead." <laughs> And you see her uh, nod in acknowledgement and, and lower her weapon. I did not want her shooting me. <laughs> Good idea. I didn't want her shooting me either. I'm really oh, yeah, glad we have me. you here, Ripple. <laughs> <laughs> you, got the, you got the good things in mind. <laughs> Self-preservation is always a good thing. Uh, I, uh, I kind of kick through the rubble to see if there's anything here. Is is uh, dirt and more dirt and some pebbles. Got him. All right. Uh, is the door here? Yeah, yeah. You're you're like right in front of it. Can I open it? Uh, yep. You try the handle and it is unlocked. Oh, I'm going to step back. <laughs> I go so, in. All right. All right. Who else is going in? Uh, I do. Oh, I will guide Silvery. Okay. And Marcel, you said you're going in too? Without a trace on everyone. Oh, you're, you're casting Pass Without a Trace on everyone? Yes. Oh, sorry. Well, okay. Including well, Silvery or no? Um. Uh, yes. It's everyone within it. how long? I mean, 30. you got two people with split mail. <laughs> yeah, That's I an got automatic disadvantage. But it's a plus 10. It is a plus ten. Uh, this is also true. We we might come out of this okay. Huh, exactly. <laughs> how how big or how many people? It just says anyone. Yeah, any anybody you choose. Yeah, I can so ask we... uh, all of your companions. Wow. Pretty dope. So. Uh, what? I just rolled the stealth. Oh, yeah, I'll roll stealth too. I think 18 if was my roll. You would roll. roll it. F- if you would roll it for me, Jess. Yeah. Just, for some reason, it didn't save the areas that I had concealed, so. That's oh, I didn't great. See it. <laughs> and then just add 10 to mine, and it's 23. Well, yeah. Alright, so uh, what's your modifier, Stu? Uh, you, you don't have any, right? Just roll the d20. Uh, 
believe so. Give me a second. You naddied. Oh, wow. So, you did. The, Somehow oh, wait. Male that's with advantage? Or disadvantage? No. Oh, you get disadvantage? Yeah, with splint mail gives disadvantage. Yeah. With splint, it, or splint mail, yeah. Oh. Plus 10. Well, plus 11. Was my nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, you guys all pass the smell test. Um, you guys. This uh, is just a black box. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> Are you guys able to see the room that you're in? Uh, I don't see my. Uh... My token. Yeah, yeah, you guys aren't generated, but uh, you guys see this room that I'm pinging? Yes. The goat? Yes. Yep. Yes. That looks like a dragon, but okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys open the door and all walk in, and um, you, you see this, uh, you know, it looks like a foyer, and it has a central spiral staircase leading up. Um, the staircase, you notice, is flanked by two closed doors, each one set in the middle of a stone wall. A thin, weak-looking dragonborn is feebly trying to sweep the floor here with a well-worn broom, and um, uh, the dragonborn looks up as uh, you know the door just opens on its own, and, and, and uh, they look, you know, pretty puzzled and they're like, what the heck? Did, you know, did I not close it all the way, or did someone not close it all the way? And so she, you know, she moves to to close it and, and then goes back to resuming her chores. Are those the doors? Uh, right here and right here. I don't. S okay. Okay. Got okay. it. And what do you guys do? Where do we come from? Where that purple is, is two doors, correct? Yes, and right. then the... So, yeah, so yeah, you guys are entering from here. You see the staircase right here. And yeah, the dragonborn. He was resumed cleaning up. Hey, lad. Uh, we're here looking for the three sisters. Oh, you know and this this oh. dragonborn like looks around like holy shit what the fuck is that like God. clutching the broom just like swish, we were swish. invisible uh, damn it Bjorn yeah. Jesus <laughs> and so and uh, and they say show yourselves or or I'll call somebody I already showed myself because I spoke. I'm looking for the three sisters. Please, you, you, you have to go. You have to go. I, I really don't want to get in trouble with them. You, you need to leave now. It's not now. going to happen, lad. It's not going to happen. I'm looking for the three sisters. No, you, you must go. You have no idea what you're doing. I, I beg of you, please. I take my my battle axe, I place it on my shoulder, and I hold up my shield. I believe I do. Now tell me where they are. Uh, roll me persuasion check. Walk up. Oh, shit, my, well, you're gonna have to roll it for me. My persuasion is shoot. Do you have a modifier? Oh, uh, maybe. Wait, where the fuck is persuasion? No, uh, God damn it. Right, right there in alphabetical order. Near religion. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, it is a plus one. She don't. She's. She insists that you leave before more trouble comes. And is... then I and take it from being on my shoulder to then aiming it at him. Her. It wasn't a request. It. <laughs> That's a her. It wasn't a request. And, and Tell me uh, where they are. The dragonborn is, you know, backs up against the wall, you know, 
the you know life flashing before her eyes is you know saying oh god please no i oh god i'm just <laughs> i'm just working here please i understand that but uh i have business with your sisters <laughs> i couldn't even, even if i did have the information I couldn't possibly tell you. I, oh my god, my my life is terrible now. They'll probably how, just end how it. How about this? Wait, what's what's so wrong with you? How about your this? Life? Are they on this floor or the next floor up? And uh, um, wait, so Huckman, did you say that out loud or you just? Yeah, I sure did. Sure did. Oh, you sure did. It. So now the the dragonborn looks like they're ready to faint from fear and like, oh my god, who else is in here? <laughs> It's just us two. What? Get out! You have to get out of here! Never come back! Look, we're here for Morgana. Can I block the stairs? Like, interpose myself between the Dragonborn and the stairs? Uh, in sure. Case, in case she tries to, like, run up them? Yeah. Yeah. If I could see my token, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is going on. I <laughs> yeah, because I want to be here. <laughs> All right, Bjorn, where do you want to be? There. I'm uh, just talking right there next to him. And so now, you know, the Dragonborn sees two people materialize and they're like, oh my god, I'm dead. I'm so, you know, they're just like, they're just like muttering oh, oh, to themselves oh. against the wall. You just have like, oh. no one to be scared of. We are not here. We have no quarrel with you. We're just here one. to take down the three sisters. <laughs> All right. So um, we're kind of here to save you. <laughs> Huck, ma'am, go ahead and roll me persuasion. And because uh, Bjorn's still trying to help, uh, you get to roll at advantage. Uh, no, nope. They're they're like no. Please just leave me out of it. I don't want anything to do with this. Just please just. Try to leave you out of it. <laughs> trying, <laughs> currently trying to leave you out of it. So they just dart across the the room, right? And they're just huddling against the wall, just like you know, just literally like facing the wall, just trying their best to ignore you, and, and just like shivering and shaking, and just like no, no, no. <laughs> What do you guys want to do? I'm gonna. He's checking that door. I'm gonna go check the other door. It's Watch. locked by the. Oh, you're not. Okay, well it's I'm locked. Checking the door. I was standing between him and the door. <laughs> I'm going to stay by <laughs> the her. stairs, like in case um, she tries to run up them. I'm going to trip her. Okay. All right. So uh, Bjorn, you go to the other. You're you're seeing if what if this door can be opened. Yep. It's locked. Um, while they're uh, doing that, I want to walk up to the the Dragonborn quietly and cast Charm Person. All right, I'm guessing they have to. Well, what's the saving modifier? Uh, DC 14. Wisdom okay. throw. They're charmed. Yo, let's go. Uh, Do you poof out of uh, the no, pass without no, trace? No. Okay. Um, I go and briskly walk over to Bjorn and tap on Bjorn's shoulders um, to try to get him to look at the dragonborn. Who hopefully should now not be cowering. Okay, uh, so you're just you're, okay. So I guess um, yeah, they've entered the like you know a uh, uh, kind of almost eerie like slack, kind of relaxed uh, pose. Ah, I see you've come around. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us where the sisters are? And I'm guessing, uh, Bricks, you, you want to compel the Dragonborn to answer? 
Yes, yeah, yeah. Basically, to compel to think of Bjorn as a as a close friend. Oh, okay. I, I see. Okay. Oh, uh, well, the other the during the daytime, the hags generally are at the bathhouse, and at night they stay here, torturing their victims until they are ready to go to bed. But Morgana, or Morgan, I should say. Uh, she came back rather early. She seemed... I don't know what she was up to. Something strange. She went all the way to the top of the tower already. Are... Are there paintings in this tower? Paintings oh, yeah. of people that you know. Oh, uh, not that I know, but I've seen a painting of a... of a beautiful moon elf, and I've also seen a painting of... Oh gosh, what was it? Was it a tiefling? I think it was a, a, a roguish-looking tiefling. Uh, what about a kobold? No, so I've I've seen a, a picture of a... Yes, it was a tiefling with sparkling violet eyes wearing many fine jewels. And I've also seen a picture of, of a, a youthful uh, a shield dwarf uh, dancing at a feast. And uh, there's also a painting of of a, a brawny, golden-scaled dragonborn warrior engaged in battle. And those are all on the second floor of the tower. Hmm. Hi. Thank you. Do you want me to put those in the chat? Yeah. Yeah. But we could sell those for some money. Actually, anything. we're going to destroy them. Because I'm thinking each one of these paintings are the curse. I don't know if uh, destroying it's the right way to go about it. I think we may have found our dwarf. Alright, I put it in the roll 20. Herself. All right. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Uh, well, thing, I would say let's go ahead upstairs. Yep. I'll let the two visible ones go first and then sneak up behind them. Yeah, I'm going to follow up behind Bjorn. Okay, so you guys are going to leave the doors there and head upstairs? Yes. Okay. And uh, so as you guys are leaving to go up the stairs, so the dragonborn just, uh, you know, casually waves, you know, all right, bye, see you later. <laughs> see ya! <laughs> and, and then so, um, uh, what is it? Um, I'm going to try and stealthily go up these stairs. Are you really? <laughs> yes, I rolled an 11. No. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> as soon as we come up on the second floor, is it possible for me to um, use um, a primal awareness? Uh, can you put it in the roll 20? I'm not sure what it does. I don't think it has a link, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, just tell me what it does. It's an action. Um, you can expand your range, uh, your ranger spell slot uh, for one minute, uh, and you can sense whether there is uh, any fey creatures, uh, celestials, dragons, uh, fiends, or undead uh, presence within one mile. Wow. Hmm. Hang on. That's pretty handy. Dang. Uh, so wait, so what types of creatures can you can you see? Um, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, um, fiends, and or undead. And when it says see, like you're able, to, you're just able to see them, right? Like, bam, there it is. Since kind of like since I the presence, them. I thought. Ah, I see. Okay. So I don't know where they are, but I just know that they're there. 
I see. Okay, so, uh, yes, Marcel, as you, you come up to the second floor behind uh, uh, Bjorn and Hachmem, you definitely sense uh, an elemental presence somewhere in this room. And um, so let's see, you guys head up to... Okay. So uh, as you guys head up to the up the stairs and, and reach the second floor, a dank scent fills the air in this well-used kitchen. Three tables stand in the room, one of which is covered in various vegetables and strange-looking cuts of meat. A wood stove burns brightly against the far wall, and a statue of a winged elf st stands in the corner here. Um, its face carved into an open mouth smile. An elderly dwarf stands before the stove. So I guess he's actually supposed to be here. Uh, his hands trembling as he tries to lift a heavy iron pot. I run over and I kind of, I help him lift the pot. And uh, as you help him lift, he has like a, a brief like, oh, thank you, lad. And, and then he sees like that you're definitely not here to help and you're like and he, he starts you know a look of sheer panic crosses his face and he says and he looks around and sees uh, the human behind you and he says to you both uh, lads you need to get out of here this ain't the place to be uh i believe it is because we're we're looking for someone we're looking for what's your name again morgana i keep forgetting the names morgana okay we're looking for Morgana, and uh, we have urgent business with her. Uh, you, uh, you, she's, he looks, uh, his eyes dart to the statue, and you can see a sweat starting to break out on his brow, and, and he's like, well, mm, I haven't seen Morgana, lad. I'm, uh, I'm afraid you're looking in the wrong Do place. Do I notice where he looks? Uh, what's your passive perception? Fifteen? Yeah. So then I turn around and look at it. Is there something you want to tell me about that statue? Oh, this is, oh, no, no, no. I, I, just, I just don't want to get in trouble, lad. I only asked because we were attacked by one outside. And if that's the same one, I think I, uh, I think I'll get the jump on it this time. And I ready my axe and I kind of run over and I, I swing at it. Alrighty, uh, roll to hit. You're gonna have to do it for me. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Plus seven, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, so that glance is off, um, but as you, your act glances off, you see the, the visage of the statue turn into a hideous snarl as a, as a gargoyle materializes from the statue and roll me initiative, motherfucker. God and you too, uh, if you <laughs> If you would, please, uh, rolling it with advantage, plus one. Why are we Wait. fighting him? Yeah, let me clear the list. Do those of us that are on the stairs also roll initiative? He don't know about y'all. Yeah, he don't know about y'all. No, but we know about like combat. Interior, yeah, you, like... yeah, you guys can see the combat. Yeah, I would say roll initiative, but yeah, you guys are you guys aren't uh, presently engaged. Okay. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> Everybody's more ready for this than I am, and I've been here. <laughs> All right, so let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Who got the nat 20? What's up with Jess and the nat 20? That 20s? would be me. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I mean, it's only supposed to be a plus one, so I have a 21. I don't know why you put plus seven. I thought you said a plus seven to your initiative. No, it's plus one to my initiative. It's plus seven to my hit. Ah, uh, me dum dum. But I'll take. I'll, I'll still take that nat twenty though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. We got. Uh, I guess I'll have to put your tokens down. 
Uh, let's see, so we'll put bricks. And our song, Ripple. All right. I like Kung Fu over here. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ripple. We'll sneakily well. just go over the banister. <laughs> Marcel. Oh wait, that's not Marcel. That's Marcel. <laughs> and then bricks. Have you rolled initiative already? Oh. Uh. No. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Nine. Nine. All right, Bjorn. Uh, so you uh, you were totally prepared for that, for what happened to happen, um, and in in the time that it took to transform into its true state, you've already readied for another attack. So, what, what do you want to do? I'm gonna go ahead and do my uh, my two attacks. Ready? Uh, let me just uh, roll for this guy. I forgot to roll for initiative. This motherfucker. All right, so your two attacks. Uh, all right, so that's a D twenty plus seven to hit. Uh, that very nearly hits, but it's still a miss. All right, so you uh, actually got a crit on that one. Okay. Okay, you're all um, me now too. <laughs> it was no. a it was a one d eight plus four, right? Yeah. And then you get another die. I'm guessing, right, for a crit? Yeah. I am not 100 percent sure how the battle actually yeah, crits doubled. I'm pretty sure it's just the double. Yeah, without yeah without the modifier. Yeah. Right. So that one, and then. Nice. <laughs> A very nice. All right, so you like make yeah. <laughs> yep. So you uh, you give it a pretty solid, uh, pretty pretty solid spanking. It's it's good and mad at you now. Bring it, lad. <laughs> I bet you won't be able to hit me. And then I end my turn. All right. Uh, he's 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 certainly gonna try. Here we go. Um, that misses. And <laughs> that's gonna hit for five damage. He claws at you. Oh shit! He hit a 19 AC? Damn. Yup. How much right. was it? Uh, it was five damage, but I just realized that I have to do that for you. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, Marcel, are you gonna do anything, or are you just gonna see how this plays out? Um... I'm going to observe uh, what this guy is doing. Uh, this he's very like nervously, like just like um, like uh, wringing his hands. Like he's you know you see the the elderly dwarf just uh, wringing his hands, just like oh god, like <laughs> what's gonna happen now? Um, okay. Then yeah. So he he's not uh, postured to attack us then, huh? No, no, he's trying to make himself as small as possible. Like, I didn't sign up for this shit, man. I didn't sign up for any of this shit. I'm just going to have my bow out, but I'm not going to attack, so I'm just going to kind of turn over my turn. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Ripple, what do you do? I'm uh, still I don't, yeah, you're like still in the stairwell. Yeah, or no, you, you've kung fu over the banister. Right, 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 right. Okay. Can I stealth over here? Uh, yes. Because it's like half movement speed, right? Yes. Okay, so that's my movement speed. Uh, don't forget that you left uh, Silvery down at the bottom of the... behind Marcel. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> blind woman on the stairs you left. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess I'll hide you. Can, can I say, like, be, like, before I could be, like, be on the lookout, but we're going to, like, go upstairs first? Uh, the blind yeah, yeah, yeah. woman. Look out for us. <laughs> ah, the irony. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel there bad. There you go. All right. 
So she's just kind of like, she's bumped into something and she stopped moving because she's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. As I move up the staircase, I'll just go ahead and uh, like grab her hand and pull her up. Okay. All right. Uh, so anything else you want to do, uh, Ripple? Uh, I think that's it. I still want to stealth a little bit. Okay. Bricks. All right. So still under the cover of passage without a trace. Um, I want to cast Minor Illusion at the dwarf, and I just want to uh, whisper in his direction, uh, Falthrax, is that you? And he looks like, he's like, oh my god, who is, who is that? How do you know my name? By the way, I wanted to. I heard this in the last one. With minor illusion, you can't make noise. It says I read it in the. I read it in the thing. It says you cannot make noise. It specifically says right there you create a sound. Yeah, it legit range, and it says it can be your voice, someone else's voice, a lion's roar, or beating drums, or any other sound you. Well, shit! It erased everything, so I can't even go fucking. Never mind. You can't make noise. Uh, it's the first four words. <laughs> I could have swore it says you just make an illusion. And it says it, that it cannot uh, make noise, and it was a bunch of other things that it says that it cannot. Oh, do. that was there is a spell that was, like uh, that. Create something. Yeah, I know what that is. That's not this one though. Oh, uh, okay. But yes, so uh, that th that is his name. His name is Faldrax. Okay. Anything else you wanted to do? Um. Well, that took my entire action to cast. So, can you get yourself on grid? Because this off grid thing's bothering me. Thank you. Oh, okay. I see where I messed up. It says if you create an image of an object, such as a chair, footprint, or small chest, then it can't make sound, light, smell, or any other sensory effect. That's where I got fucked up and confused. Um. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Well, I'm going to get out of stealth. Yeah, I'll get out of stealth. And I'll walk over. So, while I'm at the, stop of the top of the staircase, I want to dispel Passage Without a Trace. Um... And then so to make it seem like I just just came from the stairs, right? I did. I don't want to make it seem like I just popped out of nowhere. Where's the exit to these fucking stairs? Uh, so it keeps going up. So you've just come across like a like a flat, um, like a flat area in the staircase, right where you're at, Huckman. Yeah. But you can, but like right here, um, it's hard to see because obviously it's like you know it's a yeah. top-down vision, but it keeps going up. Yeah, it did, but like. Somewhere on there, people have to be able to go, because we're coming from up. They have to become even with this place, and they have to pass through the exit to do that. Yeah, yeah. So there's a there's there's a bit of space there. Yeah. Just, just Are you trying to say that my three foot tall ass can't go through you? Uh, I know you can. This <laughs> <laughs> is a small creature. Yeah. <laughs> you can pass through other players' spaces that are one size larger. <laughs> All right, so Briggs, you you. All right, so you're in front of Falthrax now. Um. Okay, and then I'll just say. Uh. We're friendly. Let my friends take care of the the demon here. And you just hide. Who are you? What's going on? We can speak more after the demon's been taken care of. And this dude wastes no time just like hiding behind one of the tables. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. All right. Huckman. Huckman. <laughs> I go here. All right. Uh, does this give me advantage? I don't know. Yes. 
Sweet. I attack with my pole arm. <laughs> All right, that hits, and the bonus attack misses. No, no, that wasn't a bonus attack. That was advantage. Oh, that was advantage. Okay, well, it hits. Yeah. Six bludgeoning. Wait, what? With a pole arm? That was just the bonus. You know what? So what happens is... <laughs> you I, see. I attack with the, the, the glaive, right? And then I actually have a bonus attack that hits with the other end of it. Oh, and that's what I, <laughs> I see. That's what I rolled first. Was the bonus attack. Now we. Okay, so you nice. still rolled glaive. Okay. Hmm? I see. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, what's the damn. damage for the glaive? Wait. Jeez. So the, what? Wait. What's the? Is the damage? Oh, okay. You get advantage. Right. 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 Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so one of them eight, hits. Eight slashing damage. And then I roll for my second attack. Well, I will take the, the 18 to hit on that one. Okay, that hits. Another five damage. Jesus. So that was one attack, two attack, bonus attack. Yep. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, so uh, you Damn. clobbered this thing pretty fucking good, um, but it's still, you know, it's, obvi it's very obviously wounded, but it's still uh, raring to fight on. You're still alive? It's still alive, man. You're stronger than I thought. Yeah. Anything else you want to do, Huckman? No. All it's right. my turn. All right. Uh, so we're coming towards the end of the session. Did you guys want to finish this combat encounter, or did yeah, you want to call it here and pick it up? I'm yeah, we can finish it. I was finishing this combat en encounter. All right. Yeah, then, Bjorn, it's your turn. I'll just go ahead and do my two attacks. Alrighty. Do I get advantage? Yes, you do. Sweet! Swing and a miss. Oh, wait, now you get to... You get advantage on that. My advantage? Pretty. Oh my, oh my god. 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 Pretty, pretty, pretty. pretty. Uh, 1d8 plus 4? No, Just hacking the system, boys. Yeah. Hacking the system. <laughs> No, wait, I thought, yeah, that's 2d8 plus 4. Because. Yeah, well, for, yeah, for the crit. Yeah. 13 damage on the first attack. That really hurt it so fucking bad. And when it's easy, raise your, your axe for another attack. It's kind of, its facial expression is kind of like, oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. D20 plus 7 to hit. Right, yeah, okay, that's what I put. Uh, and they both miss. Oh damn! But uh, it's looking pretty fucking beat up. Anything else you can do? Uh, nope, that's it. Alright, uh, Gargoyle's looking at Hachmem now. Um, it looks to be like, uh, you know, it's just like, oh man, fuck these guys. And it, it, it do a bitey. Does a 16 hit? I forget what your AC is. 18. Oof. Close, but no uh, dice. Also, oh, <laughs> here's a fun one. Uh, I got repost. Oh, gonna nice. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and, go ahead hey, and roll. Do you that. have a reaction? I thought you used all of your actions to do an attack. It uses a pure you die. This is a hey. reaction, pal. Yeah, and yeah I thought in order superior. to have a reaction, you had to... Have you to save your Stu. action? Stu. He can use a superiority die to do a reaction. Yes, he's a battle master. <laughs> stupid superiority dice. <laughs> no, no, right. that's not stupid. That's me attacking again. Yeah, that's why Michael went battle master. All right, go ahead and roll. But I get advantage, right? <laughs> <laughs> to uh, to hit, not on attack, not on damage. <laughs> no, but that was that was a that's a fifteen to hit. Oh, you're talking about... Okay, so this is to hit. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, that hits. The 15 hits. What the f fuck is this shit? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, 14 <laughs> damage. What the uh, that, fuck uh, that's is max, this? That's maximum damage. That's max, so how the fuck do you kill it, Hawkman? Kill streak. 
Damn. I just send the glaive through his face again. Just like, boop. This seems to work every time. <laughs> and once again, it crumbles to dust and pebble. It's like, don't you bite me? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That glaive is stupid! <laughs> uh, if you guys are good, we made it just in time. Nice. Yes. All I need is one turn. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and but... what you need to do? That was with me passing on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, it's suffice to say that this three people didn't attack, and we still took this thing down in two turns. Natty. <laughs> no, that was one whole turn for me. Natty. All right. Well, four, but we're not counting her. <laughs> well, the bricks has found uh, Falthrax. The whole reason you guys uh, came here. Hell yeah. Wait, let's bounce. <laughs> <laughs> yep all right well yep that's the end of the session uh looking forward to see uh what what else you guys uncover in the tower and uh how oh, you man yep i didn't what? roll the superiority die for the damage on that uh, not like you fucking needed to <laughs> it's a d8 though <laughs> pretty good yeah 